Hey guys, how's it going? Jason's here. In today's video, I will show you how to use billing app on Yaystar Asterisk PBX to satisfy your billing service. Billing app allows you to efficiently allocate call credit, top up extensions, and conduct call analysis on the basis of statistics. Both prepared and postpaid are supported. Flexible rate settings and detailed records make it extremely easy for an enterprise to monitor charges, spot misuse, and enhance efficiency. Now, let's jump in. At the very beginning, don't forget to download the billing app from App Center. We actually provide you a 30-day free trial of this app. You can have a test first, then apply for a license, or maybe just get a license from your dealer directly. Anyway, just open the app. Go to General Settings and click to enable the app. Down here, we can configure the general settings. Choose a proper currency and set rounding scale. Prompts played under different circumstances are customizable. We can keep it default or apply custom prompts here. Besides, we can also set the balance threshold for each extension and account. When the balance of extension or account touches the threshold, the system will play the top-up prompt to remind topping up the extension or account. Then, you're supposed to decide whether to hand up the call when the balance is not enough. Now, guess it's time to set billing type of all extensions. Let's figure out some features first. We can charge the extension users in two ways, from the extension level or the account level. Extension level means the system will deduct the call fee from the balance of the specific extension. While account level means the system will deduct the call fee from the balance of pre-configured accounts shared by users who know the password. For example, if each employee is equipped with a phone, we can charge them from the extension level. If a phone is shared by some employees, we can create a billing accounts for each user so they will be charged respectively when calling out using the same phone. Both prepaid and postpaid are supported, so in prepaid mode, the extension will fail to make outgoing costs once the balance is less than the credit limit. In post-paid mode, the extension will fail to call out only when his credit runs out and exceeds the credit limit. Say, we're gonna set these two extensions in this way. Go to the extension, choose 1000. Select the extension in the drop-down list, set credit limit to $10, and choose prepaid. Click on save. And next, choose 1001, Select account instead. Please mind that the credit limit and pay type settings here won't work. We're gonna configure these parameters in accounts. Get to the account, create an account for one user of extension 1001. Customize the name for our own better management. And next, enter 10 in credit limit and choose postpaid. And the last step, don't forget to set a password for this account. So the user who knows the password can use the credit of this account. So much introduction about this part. Next, let's move on to top up. If we charge users by account, top up the account here directly. Click icon here, enter the number. Let's say $100. If we charge users by extension, get to the extension, click the same top up icon here. Don't forget $100 as well. Auto top up is also supported. Go to the schedule task, add a new task, Choose top up in task type, enter the amount, then set the frequency and exact time. Of course, don't forget to choose extension and account. Now, the system will automatically top up the extension and account selected. Go back to the extensions. Above all the settings, we have an overview of the total top up and balance as well as the data of extensions and accounts. We will see all top up records intuitively in top up history. Guess now we're supposed to customize call rating for all users. The rate can be set according to call duration, time periods, extensions or accounts, and call types. Let's start with the initial cost and time. Say we set it to half dollar in the first five minutes. So the first five minutes will be charged to half dollar. As for the call duration exceeding five minutes, turn to general settings, set the rate here. It will cost five cents every minute. Back to other settings, set the time and dates of the week. For example, the whole day from Monday to Friday. And next step, choose at least one extension or account. Let's apply it to extension 1000 and the account created for extension 1001. 
These are basic settings for a call rate. Besides, if we want to apply this rule to a certain type of calls, such as international or local calls, we can set a rule to match the call type here. In Match Pattern, enter the rule of the number dialed. Four characters are available. In Number Length, enter the maximum length of the external number, or just enter zero to match all length. If no need to specify the rule, simply just leave it empty. Save the settings. Once the billing app starts working, we can view real-time statistics right here. And by the way, don't forget to set conditions here. We can search for the related information or export our data to the computer. Alright guys, that was all for our billing app. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Subscribe us if you're not already. Get more details? Check our document center. I will see you guys in the next one.